Okay, so this is, I'll call it the salted ice lab, but don't title your lab the salted ice lab because that would be very lame and lose you a lot of points. You want it to be a detailed title that has both the independent and dependent variable in it. So my goal on this lab report is to basically give you as little guidance as necessary. I'm not going to tell you exactly what to write down for each section. You'll kind of do it on your own. I, I didn't get a I want, get I'll get you one. Shh, just a minute. So it's not a test, so you can ask questions. But I'm not going to walk us through all the steps. By now, we've had enough lab reports. We should be pretty good at this. Aiden? So are we doing one without ice or one with ice? Or are we going to I, I'll explain that. That's what I am going to explain is okay. what we're doing. I'll explain that. So we're collecting the data together. And what I want to know, and this is what you're going to write down for your... So how does salt affect the melting point of ice? Now, we have some experience with this, right? We all know that ice melts at zero degrees Celsius. It's also freeze at zero degrees Celsius. That's what freezing is. When we're using Celsius, it's based on water. And some of you probably have experience that when it's really cold out in Wyoming and they do this to the school sidewalks, is they sprinkle ice on the sidewalks. Yes, sir. Somebody raise your hand and tell me why we do that. Salt. Does that melt ice? Because it melts the ice. And gives us right. reaction. Okay. Ice so it melts ice. the ice. Now, Makes is that a chemical a reaction or a physical, physical. reaction, do you chemical. think? Chemical. Physical. physical. Okay. Why do you think chemical? Because there should be a chemical reaction for it to melt. That's not how that works. Mm. Okay. So, Melting is a physical change, right? Mm -hmm. I knew that. So as long as so as long as all that's happening is it's going from solid ice, or solid water in this case, ice. To liquid water, it's still water, that's a physical change. When I am done adding salt to the ice, is there any evidence of a chemical change? Is there a color change? You're going to hear any fizzing, you're going to see hear any popping or explosions, gases given off, fire, flames. No. No. When I put the salt on the ice, does the salt change into anything different? No. Does the ice, you know, or does the water change anything different? No. No. So this is all signs that this is actually a physical change. Okay? Now, maybe there's evidence of a chemical change. One, one example of a chemical change is that there's a temperature change. Okay? Okay. This one, it's hard to determine if it's physical and chemical change because there's some weird stuff that can kind of happen. So, I'm going to right now check the temperatures of these. Both of these beakers are at negatives. Okay. One's at negative 0. Point, at negative 0. 0.2. The other's at negative 0. 0.4. Did you put salt on Basically the same. No, I haven't yet. So, what is our independent variable in this experiment? Salt. Salt. This is our independent variable. This is what I'm changing. I'm only going to pour it into one. Okay. Then what I want to know is what happens to the temperature? It goes up. Do you think that it's going to go up? So right now I want you to write down your hypothesis. If you think the temperature goes up, if I add salt to the ice, write down the temperature goes up. Well, you'd say it's something like this, right? It's if, then, because. So if salt is added to the ice, then the temperature goes up because... So you write down your hypothesis. If, then, because statement. And everybody already has their testable question written down, right? Mm -hmm. Which is, no. how does salt oh. affect yeah. the melting point of ice? And I'm not going to tell you the title. I'll see if you guys can get a good one. And I'm not going to go have anything. You're going to have to figure out the procedure, but you're watching it happen. You can see it. Wait, the decimal question was if you pour salt on ice, will it melt? Or? How does ice affect how does salt the melt? melting point? Yep, and how does salt affect the melting point of ice? 
Just testing you guys, seeing if you're paying attention. Good job, y'all passed. So brilliant. I passed. Yeah. I'm smart. Yeah. Yeah. Big brain. F M R T smart. I'm big brain. Now, once you've got your hypothesis written down, there's a couple ways we can collect the data. Now, I'd be surprised if I add salt to this, if suddenly, just magically, boom, it changes temperatures really fast. It probably changed a little bit over time. So up there on the board, up here on the board, I have a data table. At least how I thought I was going to set mine up. I thought I'd check the temperature about every 30 seconds until things stabilize. I'm planning on going for around five minutes, but I'll go to 10 if I need to, or 20. How long is it going to take for the temperature to stabilize? Now I'm expecting the temperature of the no salt to pretty much stay the same around zero degrees. That's my control group, right? It's the one that I kind of already know the answer to, and I'm expecting it to pretty much stay near zero. However, I'm expecting the temperature of the salted water to change. I just don't know if it's going to change immediately or if it's going to take some time. So I'm going to time it every about 30 seconds just to see. Now the bottom line though is what I'm really looking for is I'm looking for what the coldest temperature that the water or the ice can reach until it melts. I want that point where it changes. Salt. Negative point one is the salted side. And negative point two. So I put some salt in there. I just want to make sure it works good, right? I'm going to shake it up. I'm going to shake it up. I'm going to wait about 30 seconds. Maybe shake them both up at the same time. This is the salted side. All right. After 30 seconds, here's the temperature of the salt side. Is that point five for 30? Negative 19.8. No salt, negative 0 0.3. It's a little bit colder. It got way colder, didn't it? Yeah, how they make ice cream though? Yeah, you can make, yeah, ice cream salt, which is just a fancy name for salt. Yeah, you can use any salt for that, but yeah. Oh, wait, sorry. Okay, after one minute, sorry, after one minute, Negative 18.9 and negative 0 0.2. Negative what? Okay, no salt was negative 0 0.2. And what did I say, negative 18.9? Mm -hmm. Just give them a good. Okay. After a minute and a half, the salted one. Negative 15.0 and the non the control negative 0 0.4. We'll try a couple more. It doesn't seem to be changing much, does it? It did, it changed pretty dang quick. So negative 17.3, that's after two minutes. And negative 0 